Okay, I have a question. Just hear me out for a second. How long would it take for an investigation to get up and running to set up some sort of a task force and go undercover at the hospital? The PCPD's resources are limited. We don't have enough manpower to pull officers off the street and assign them to a task force. Even if we did, I don't know if Mac would approve it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not sure I'm quite understanding this. So you're telling me that you're planning on doing this all on your own? I, come on, Lucky, there's got to be hundreds of people on staff between GH and Mercy. It could, it could take you months to interview them all. And then what? Do you honestly believe that somebody's going to confess to buying counterfeit drugs and supplying them to patients? Lucky's not the enemy here. I know he's not the enemy. It's just a little frustrating when you know that somebody's deliberately hurting people and the police department doesn't have enough funding to do anything about it. Look, if, if you can't put together an official task force, okay, I'll fund a private one myself in conjunction with the PCPD, okay? Well, the more people we have working on this, the better chances of finding who's moving these drugs. And then we can shut them down. Oh. Hello, I'm Dr. Hunter. Good to Yes, that's me. This is my bedside manner. And you are... Jerry, yes, I understand you're having some lower back pain. Yes, accompanied by a fairly nasty bruise. Okay, well, let's have a look, shall we? Can you take that shirt off for me? Ah, uh, yes, here we are. Ow! Yeah, how did you do this? Uh, I, I fell into someone's fist, actually. And someone's knife, and apparently someone's gun as well. Yes, what can I say? I'm extremely clumsy. And extremely lucky. You can see these little misvital organs, however, this one here. Ow! Is there any say close to your kidney? So, I'm going to have to order some tests to ensure that there's no internal bleeding. You wouldn't be putting me through a batch of unnecessary tests just to pad up your bill, would you? Well, if you can't pay, I can refer you to a free clinic on oh, the street. Fortunately, money is not a problem in my line of work. Unlike you, I'm guessing, is drowning under a mountain of debt. How far is medical school setting you back, exactly? What the hell are you so interested in my finances? Stay close to Lulu. Okay, do whatever you can to make sure she doesn't confess. She doesn't exactly listen to me. Please be patient. <sighs> not one of my strong points. Please, Maxie, I need your help. I've done nothing but help since the minute you decided to tell Claudia that you killed Logan. I didn't think twice about jumping in to save Lulu, not that she appreciates it. Well, I do. All I ask is that you continue. I seriously don't know how much longer Lulu's going to be able to do this, okay? The guilt of what happened to Logan is really getting to her. And now everything that's going on with you, I mean, the stress, it might be too much for her to handle. And if she's anything like her mother, she could completely crush. She won't. Mental illness runs in her family. And if you don't do something soon, and I mean fast, you can end up losing Lulu forever. That can't happen. Please, Maxie. I need your help. Oh, wow. Don't you two look cozy. Well, I would ask you how you liked the flowers, but sending them was clearly a mistake. Flowers can't fix the problem, can They you? weren't meant to be a solution, Sonny. They were meant to tell you that I was thinking about you and I didn't like the way we left things last night. Uh, I d didn't like it, I... Okay, so, <laughs> look, I'm here. I'm here to yeah. apologize, and not just for the argument, but for what happened earlier. Had I any idea that Alonzo was referring to you... <laughs> I would have never let him send you away. I know, I know, I know. I was dealing with three fires at the time. I was only uh, thinking about the mock-ups. You always, that's the, the... You don't have to explain. I mean, you know, you got, you got so much going on, you know? No, but it doesn't excuse my behavior. Look, Sonny, you know I love you, right? And you know that I love you. That's why I have to be honest. I'm not the type of guy who's cut out to be a st stay-at-home husband. I can't just cheer from the sidelines while, you, while you're out conquering the world. I'm not asking you no, to No, I just let me... Can I finish? I won't, I can't be second in my wife's life. 